In this video, we will learn how you can set the options of the header bars uh, from the screen component itself. So, uh, first of all, create a React Native project and open it on Visual Studio Code. I already opened the IS simulator, but you can also work with the Android emulator also if you are using Windows or Linux machine. So as uh, I have uh, uh, discussed this example in my last video. The, here we have two screens. The first one is home and the second one is product category. And on the home screen we have two inputs. Uh, first for the name and second for the image. Where user enter their name and image and register themselves and uh, we are sending these parameters name and image URI to product category screen and in our app.js the stack navigator that we have created on this header left we are uh, creating an image component and setting uh, setting the that image URI to this uh, image component and name to the title so the uh, user name will be displayed over here and the image will be here so uh, this is we have done in our last video so i just want you to show that uh, this option that you are seeing here these all options that are uh, in this uh, prop you can also set it uh, from the screen component itself from home screen also and from product category also so what we are going to do is that uh, on the product category screen we will be creating a button uh, it's it will be called change profile picture or something like that and whenever user press on this button a prompt will appear and user enter the new uh, url for the image that he want to set up and when he uh, click on the change or update button the profile picture uh, will get updated we do not need to go over here and do the process so in product category screen let us create a button this button is from react native elements and not from react native title will be update profile picture let me just save this and let us create navigation first of all because we need navigation you need to import the navigation from the react navigation slash native let me just save this now let us create a function const update picture here yeah, we will be create a prompt i have already shown you how you can create a prompt in our earlier videos you can check that out also so title will be update picture message will be enter new url for the picture here we provide the set of buttons the title of the buttons will be update then on press uh, event for this button that we have just created okay so first of all navigation dot set option this is what we need to do here that we can provide all the option that we used to provide over here in these options so in this scenario um, header left
let us create an image component let us provide the source and it will have a uri uh, here we pass text and here we will receive the text this text is the text that user enter in the prompt message and we are going to use this text as the new uri and let us uh, call this function on on press event update picture let me just save this so we have created a navigation we have created a prompt which will take the new image as the uh, input string basically and we have uh, used navigation dot set options to provide the new image component on the uh, header left side so let us just see if it works let me enter a name let's say alicia let me go to the unplash and search for the people let us take this image let me copy the image address let me provide over here okay so if i press register as you can see the image is currently displayed over header left and the title uh, is the name of the person that we have entered uh, this is working because of this because uh, we have uh, in our register function we have provided the image uri and we are passing this image uri through route over here so now let us see if it, our new codes works let us click on the update profile so we have a prompt as we have created the title is update picture and enter new url for the picture let us uh, enter the new picture let me just choose this one copy image address let me just paste it over here let me press ok ok so i have made a mistake we also need to provide style because otherwise it doesn't have any height or width um, height let's say let's just copy this and paste it over here let me just save this and let me just let me just open this again run on iOS simulator okay so name will be alicia okay awesome. let us use this image first okay so we have image over here and the update profile picture we provide this one let me just copy image address paste it over here let me just save this as you can see the profile pictures gets updated so basically this is how you can uh, update the information using this set option of the header of uh, the component that you are working on from the screen component itself you do not need to pass the parameters over here again and do the process all over again you cannot you can do all the things that you can do uh, in these options 
you can provide the title you can change the header style you can provide the header right icons etc so that's it for this video thanks for watching